30 minute interval, so chalk one will leave. 30 minutes from there, the next chalk will leave. Everybody understand? Oh. Anybody missing anything? Do it. That every day when you're out and about dealing with our citizens. So just remember that they are American citizens and our job is to do everything we can to make their lives just a little bit better. This is a, a great morning for the Delaware National Guard and the state of Delaware as our soldiers are preparing to respond to Florida and help support the citizens and the other first responders that are uh, operating in and around the entire Florida region through for hurricane response. They're getting ready to begin almost a thousand mile convoy uh, over the next three or four days it'll take to get down there. And, uh, and they'll be prepared when they get on site to support the, the leadership and the, the uh, uh, elected officials that are all uh, working to, to try and bring some semblance of normalcy back to the state of Florida. Yeah, Delaware is supporting the mission through an emergency management assistance compact with about 100 soldiers, um, about 35 to 40 vehicles. They'll have standard over-the-road trucks. Um, they have some wrecker support, tow truck support. They have some maintenance contact trucks. And so they'll be prepared to uh, self-assist as they move uh, down the East Coast heading to Florida. Having a response uh, back into uh, putting their uniform on, uh, leaving their families, leaving their civilian uh, jobs, is just an, an amazing event to watch and we're so proud of the response that we got um, you know it was only a, a matter of a couple of hours and we had the hundred positions filled um, everybody of course is is tracking what goes on you know around the country so when they have the opportunity or the need they're they're calling in saying hey i'm ready to go it's just an incredibly proud moment for for the leadership of the Delaware National Guard, for Governor Carney and his team, uh, who authorized the, the participation of this organization, and uh, and for their families. You know, this is what they all signed up for, and, and we're really looking forward to watching them go out and do great things in support of our, our citizens down in Florida. It is a real world mission today, and for the next couple days, we will be doing a real world mission but this is why we train. We do convoy training all the time. We do medical training. It does help us with this mission. We are responding with a transportation company. They are a transportation company. That's all they do is they drive. So it is nice. And with us being a maintenance unit also, it does help us and help them also with if we have due breakdowns. It feels great. Um, I've been doing this for almost, I'll be retiring next year. And for the 20 years, I've, I felt, felt like an honor doing this with the deployments, with this mission, especially this mission. We have a lot of residents in Del from Delaware that have houses in Florida for, this, for the winter time. And we are not only serving Florida, but we are also serving our, our citizens of Delaware.